So this is an introduction to the, the Moodle page that the student's going to see. So this is a when the student logs onto the browser and sees their, their Moodle page and the subjects they are enrolled in. So if we go on down here, we can see the introduction to power metric modeling. I've added this graphic as well to the to the Moodle page because sometimes a lot of the uh, students have, have lots and lots and lots of subjects and uh, especially some of the students that are not native English speakers or an Erasmus would, would have multiple maybe 30 40 modules so this here is real kind of a uh, they'll, they'll see the, the Moodle page pretty quick so click on in here to the, to the Moodle page itself I'm just going to change my, my role to a, a student role so we can see it in, in the eyes of a student so we have our heading here I suppose our, our weeks uh, are broken down. If we look at our content in the middle here, we have some basically background information on some drawn standards here that we want the students to follow. So the students can access any of these PDF documents here uh, as background reading and they'll be uh, pointed to these during the, the lab sessions to, to read these uh, various notes. If we look then, the really the rest of the page and in the center here is made up of a uh, assignment so we can see here assignment one assignment two assignment three the project here assignment four and then some cad test upload area down at the bottom here so i try to keep the same format here with, with the assignment so if we just look at assignment one here there's normally the header here uh, here i have a subfolder introduced here where i have some introductory notes so i can just go in here to the notes and we have a breakdown here of the various notes uh, for, for the lectures so if we take into account here just look at randomly uh, i'll just open this here on my current uh, pdf here and we can see this is a I'll just put this in the center screen this is a, a set of notes that the student would have uh, basically linked to some youtube activity as well now the, the youtube videos aren't embedded in these notes but that's something we need to look at maybe and, and put them in here I have a direct link within the notes within the pdf document so the commands here that the, the student would cover are, are basically listed out here and as we go down through the notes there's kind of a step-by-step -step screenshots of the various activities that the students are, are looking to do and normally this would be covered in class uh, and the students would work alongside and try to complete the various activities. So this is sort of well detailed notes uh, and these would have been used previous years. I would have altered these myself along with another lecture back maybe three years ago uh, in 2013 I think it was when we delivered them. So they're, they're slightly old. The, the, some of them have, have been updated uh, but they're pretty step-by-step -step basics for the students to follow. So, so that's kind of the printed notes of PDF format. So if we go back in here to the to the Moodle page again, uh, and, and they were in, in nicely put into a folder there. Uh, the other part here, we have some YouTube videos here embedded. I'll show you that maybe on exercise two. This is the first attempt uh, and a kind of a solution video. And then we have an upload area here where the student would have to upload. And just some basic features here again, and these would be obviously gone through in class as well, but just to explain to them how to pack and go and you know, what that means. There's, there's also that's backed up here with some notes here on again a PDF format of basically what's expected for the student to pack and go and again a step-by-step -step explanation of, of what they need to do. So if we go down here to assignment 2 uh, I, I've embedded some images in that just to, so the students can relate to what the assignment is by first glance. Uh, here we have some uh, the assignment itself so just again a, a printed instruction of, of what the student needs to do and just the background drawings that they're, that they're going to do for it. Uh, just, so that, that was the, the assignment uh, and also in here I've embedded some, some YouTube videos on a separate page. So these would have been solutions to the to the problem. So these are are, are blank or, or silent videos as such uh, and the detail various components and give a solution uh, to the components uh, and these would have made up the bulk of the videos for, for the module uh, during this year 2016 semester one uh, so it, it, the students interacted with these and they're easily accessible here uh, also when they went into YouTube there was also some uh, playlists as well which the students would have accessed Uh, the other 
big thing on each of the exercises here is basically the the upload section. So again, the students are to upload all of the work, uh, all of the files, all the CAD files it, through this platform. And again, this this is repeated with, with assignment three, again repeated with assignment four, and obviously down here as well, repeated with the class test upload and uh, the quiz, sorry, and the class test upload at the bottom. Other features here. So just moving back up to the page here, the other new thing we introduced uh, this semester was to a taskbar for the students to see their assignments and a calendar as well. So with the upload uh, requirement for each of the each of the events, you can see when the, the student clicks on the date, they can see that they need to upload uh, a certain activity drawn. Uh, we see that maybe for December as well where the student would have to uh, they know there's a class test coming up the quiz opens uh, and another day at the end they know they have to uh, upload various activities there upload a project on that day there there was a class test part two had to be done so this is a good interface for the student to see what, what's coming up in, in the current weeks uh, their assignment uploads here is basically uh, as they upload each of their assignments uh, uh, they go green and they'll get feedback on that uh, I'll go through the, the gradebook in another video uh, in another section uh, on the portfolio so you'll see that again maybe in more detail and then the latest news as well over on the right hand side here so I have some information here again but the module marking system I would have posted uh, to give them information on the breakdown of the marks just to make sure that they uh, sent them a note and they would have got that note and as well as that for example I would have asked them to print out drawings of that to, to, to submit for uh, uh, drawing portfolio or whatever it was so that was a good way of communicating to the students and the students uh, interacted with that so that's a brief breakdown of the page that we, we've done uh, maybe for next semester I'm going to restructure the page uh, and just have basically each assignment a separate page so the students can just go into an assignment at a time and just find all that on one screen rather than having to scroll down the bottom of the screen like I'm doing here on the on the screencast so that's the basic introduction to the to the Moodle page I'll do a further video on the, the grade book and I'll do a further video as well maybe on quickly on the YouTube channel thank you for watching